excited to be doing a vlog and taking you guys on our little Iceland adventure. Trip. I cannot believe this was my Christmas present. Someone didn't stick to the £60 budget. I spoil you. I'm so excited. <laughs> Happy Christmas. We're so excited. So we've just landed. We've just got the uh, rental car. It's actually really smooth. Really, really cute. But everything's on the opposite side and everyone drives on the opposite side of the road to what we used to in I England. feel like the UK is just really difficult. I feel like everyone drives on this side apart from the UK people. It's same with the plugs. Like we have different plugs. Different. It's all so different. But we have just landed and we're heading straight to the Blue Lagoon before we do anything because it was on the way past like to where our destination minutes. is. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes from the airport. So it makes sense to go there. And Blue Lagoon Fall, we'll actually show you guys. But basically, it's like a massive, we don't really know too much, but it's like, all we know is a massive hot spring and you get like a face mask which comes from there. So it's going to be really, really exciting, really, really, really pretty. Really cool. And it looks amazing online, but then you could come on yeah. like a cloudy day and it doesn't look like it does online. But so you just got to make the best of make every the situation. Most. So you don't know what it's going to be like, so it's going to be super exciting to see it in person. We've literally been here an hour and it's already snowed, rained, rained sun, and wind and sunny. So like the weather is just definitely bipolar, but let's go. <gasps> so we have arrived at the Blue Lagoon. Now this is the outside. We're going to see if it's cold or hot water. Look up the... Yeah, it's cold. Is it cold? I don't get in jump in <laughs> it is so blue like i'm guessing if it looks this good on the outside what is the inside gonna look I'm like i'm really excited and it's i'm so glad I, I left my gloves at home but i actually just bought some at the airport and i'm so glad i did because my hands are really cold fingers are going blue <laughs> So we have our face mask. And a little glass of bubbly. Honestly, how beautiful is the Blue Lagoon? This is like, this is definitely the best start of the trip, I feel like. <laughs> our face mask, honestly. This, are we attractive? Are we, are we really, oh, are we looking at, oh, it's in the wind. I'm not even joking, it's snowed while we've been in here. It's been sunny, it's rained, and it's been super windy. Oh, and it's been really sunny outside. The weather has been mental, and it's so cool well, to experience. so nice. I love it. But I think we're going to just have a few little sips of our drink. And we're going to chill. Too. We're here now for like another two hours, aren't we? Because yeah. you can stay for as long as you want which once you float, which is so good. So we've just arrived at the hotel after leaving the Blue Lagoon. And the Blue Lagoon was genuinely one of the best experiences we've ever had. It was so incredible. It was insane. I was so happy. And basically, I feel like we get some really bad luck when we book hotels. Like, we always get the cheapest of the cheap because it's just a bed. Like, we don't really care where we stay. Oh things go wrong and i must admit because you booked this all yourself you've done good because it's a little bit panicking but it's so everyone we checked in it's so smooth they were so helpful they literally even like helped recommend like things to do and so they were really really helpful so we are staying at the grand hotel in Reshevich and i think it's quite a popular one we will link it in the description it's a huge hotel. it is a huge hotel and this is like an apartment we're on the 12th floor we've gone to the yes. shop we went to, it's called a bonus and it's got it's like a really, cheap. a really ugly pig, but it's like a supermarket and we've got uh, mini eggs and stuff. We've got coffees, coffees we've got crisps, crisps, but the view, it's like <clears throat> an apartment. It's, 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 it looks so cute. So I'm going to show you how cool. Oh my God. You can't really tell on the camera. Well, you can tell on the camera. It's three different ones. So you've got that one behind you and you've also got this one. <clears throat> so it's quite nice going from different, different angles. So we may go exploring. There were some really cute, I love looking at houses when we go abroad, and there's some really cute surrounding houses. So we may go and have a little look around, but we might also have dinner at the hotel just while we gather our thoughts. But also, to do. I did clock there was happy hour, so I would definitely go down and have a drink because basically we actually put to a tour to Northern Lights, but it got cancelled and we scheduled off tomorrow, uh, which we kind of, I felt like we kind of knew maybe that it would happen. Um, and we knew that like, we might not see the Northern Lights, so it's rescheduled off tomorrow, so this evening we've actually got like free. free. But that's a good thing to know. If you guys <coughs> ever come to Iceland and you book yeah. a Northern Lights tour. Read the fine print, but most of them Yeah, do. most of them let you rebook like the day after or yeah. the day after that, if they have to cancel due to bad weather, because it's quite cloudy and rainy, so we wouldn't see them. And if you can't reschedule, you actually, I think there's like a year, like you said, if you go she back a year back. later so it's not it's not too bad so now it's time for snacks while yes. we plan what we're gonna do on our first night in iceland okay so we're at reshevik and basically we just saw the um cathedral 
church and the like the gay pride strip I was walking and we came across this place and so basically we've got girl which I'm assuming is like Icelandic beer which is actually quite nice and then right. open up the bread oh the my soup. god I don't know what you call this I want to say it's tilbod tilbod soup but oh my god so, so excited good. I've got the vegetarian and, and then I've got like the meats with like chilli it's really, really nice wow good morning everybody it is it's the day next two. day two and yes you wouldn't believe it it's actually Actually, currently, if I show you my phone, it's currently 9.01 in the morning. You would not believe it because it is obviously, if I turn you around, you can see how dark it is. We've literally got the street lights on, but you could just tell that it's literally not, like, it's just like nighttime, isn't it? Sunrise isn't until 11 in January, which is so weird. Like, I think it, it's like mind blowing how weird that is. But we are now heading from Reykjavik to the Golden Circle. It's like an hour away and we're going to head off early. So as soon as the sun it's starting to rise we can get the really best excited. view so we're heading to Thingvalir National Park and it looks gorgeous it's online so exciting I was so I don't know I can't I don't know if I'm predicting it to be like really icy or like and snowy or is it gonna be like green I'm not really sure but I know it's gonna, apparently it's really really pretty but we've got our scarves we've, we've got, got our, our scarves our gloves our big coats and we're ready we're ready for this let's go so we have basically arrived. It looks so light, honestly, but it's actually quite dark. It's still. really dark. Our camera's, the camera's like brightening up, there. sure. And I definitely feel like we're whispering because I feel like it, it feels like night time. But basically, we parked in the wrong space. Like we parked basically down here. You know, I don't know if you can see where the white cars are just down there. Here. And we had to walk up on this kind of. Um, what do you call it, wooden thing, but it's really, really like icy all the way down and there's a massive drop to get down there. So we have no idea how we're going to get back to our car because like... <laughs> we're going to slip and slide like penguins. We literally nearly died. <laughs> but, but we're going to have a little explore because there is, wherever you park, there's so much to explore. So we just want to yeah. have a good walk around and hopefully get some incredible views. But the mountains are so snow like They look like They're little so... cushions in I the background. I really, really like love that drive because it went from like normal up the city into like the snow into like the more like like lava rocks so i feel like it's a really really nice drive um and i'm gonna say if you are coming to iceland and you're gonna get your own car genuinely if i can do it you can do it it's so fine and when we don't even have a four-wheel drive we just the, have this little normal car i feel like if you're definitely i feel like if you're doing the tourist bits the roads are like completely clear and yeah. completely like a normal road so definitely don't stress about it because i feel like sometimes it definitely puts you off online and also highly recommend i'm so glad now that i'm wearing scarves and gloves because it is really, really cold we're literally not even joking it is so <laughs> icy <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, I'm not even going to move because I've, I've got the camera but ooh, it's so icy Our first Icelandic waterfall It's so cool That is absolutely gorgeous and look at all of the ice it honestly It literally freezes as it goes down Freezes as it goes down That's just incredible But honestly walking up here is a challenge because the floors are very slippy They have salted them and some of them have grips But, not all of them but you need it. good shoes for sure <laughs> But honestly, just look how amazing look at all the ice and all of the like icicles and stuff. Decided to pull over on our next before our next stop because it's snowing. Honestly, a snowstorm has just started. You can't see anything now in the distance. How ama- Ah, oh, it's in my ear! Ow. How amazing is this? So we've had sun, wind, snow. We've had everything now. This looks absolutely incredible. Look, you can't, honestly, this was all mountains like five minutes ago. Now there's nothing here. But I thought we would pull over take a quick photo over here because we think that looks really magical although it's just white is that not we magical get snow, we right? don't get snow in england don't you do it babe don't do it ah! <laughs> we've arrived in geyser and oh is it snowy or is it's it snowy snowing. it's like proper thick snow thick snow oh, really, really. <laughs> uh, stick your tongue out and taste some <laughs> you look like you've I been like frozen. See. But basically, so this is how people wear makeup, you know. This is what it should look like of what we've seen I think online. It hasn't abrupt since I think the last time it abrupt was 2014 or 2016. But there's one like seven minutes away, which erupts every. I want to say I think it's every four to six minute erupt. So we're gonna see an erupt. We're gonna see something, way. but you can start seeing the 
um, like the steam and the smoke and the smog and stuff coming out yeah, from the ground. The smell, there's definitely a little bit of an eggy smell so far. And for anyone that's coming here in the Golden Circle, there is so much to get a drink and so much to have food as yeah. well. Good car park. So if you are panicked about lunch, because when you're driving here, you literally come across nothing. Everywhere, everywhere has like food, water, drinks. Snacks. The only thing we haven't seen is a petrol station and we're running yeah, low. Yeah. But we're going to go and make our way up now so we can go and see what the, what the, look how cool it looks, like coming from the ground. This looks like we've just stepped we're into Narnia. Into Narnia, okay. Don't be, don't be too scared of the white witch. Obviously she only wants your soul. <laughs> Honestly, how gorgeous. Oh, there's a little bridge. There's a bridge. I feel like, babe, we didn't bring the tripod. I feel like we need to go back and get it. I think it's fine. Babe, look, it's magical. It looks so good. Wow, what a model. You're modeling scarves. <laughs> We've just put this story up on Instagram, so it went from this, to this, to this, to really that. Pulled my hood down. <laughs> now look at it. So the guy said it was actually really, really good. Really worth the visit. Now, it was really, it was, it's, it's really crispy. Yeah. I actually went to the toilet to try to shush it. And obviously that was just like, bing. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, we're now at Goldfoss, which is the massive like waterfall stream. And actually Foss in, Icelandic means waterfall, which you didn't know. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Mm. So we are now going to head and we're going to go and check that out. But everything is on the main, on one, it's the golden circle. It's all one circle. As so soon as you basically get to the um, geyser, like in that area, it's all, well, no, everything's in that, yeah, it's like an hour, oh, 40 yeah. minutes away. It's really, really good. Also, what's really, really good as well, we've just discovered that the car has heated seats. We've got heated seats and... We've also got a heated steering Who wheel. Knew? Who knew we've come all this way and we've only just realised, but now... We would have been fuming. We would have been fuming if we got back to the airport and it didn't work. Yes. Yeah, so and now... we didn't realise that we had it, I mean. Yeah, I know. But now we're going to get coffee and... We're going to grab a hot drink. Are we going to grab a hot drink before we go? I think it's also, uh, for some reason, all the places, like, the, it's coffee is just in, like, the coffee machines. And I was like, I just want a nice, like... I want Starbucks because they've got they've got a nice coffee machine, a nice coffee maker thing here. And then they just got the machines and they always close the other one. Yeah. that is one thing. So if you're into coffee, that is a don't, don't that's a, have, that's don't a good thing to know. But we're gonna head off now and we're gonna go. So I don't know if you can hear because it's so windy. It's the coldest point we've been at yet. Oh wow. and it's dangerous but oh wow that is just something else. I'm so happy but we're gonna we've been here for about 10 minutes taking photos and pictures so, nice. so check them out on instagram and now it's time for a hot chocolate come on we just wanted to document how the day of adventures have ended it has ended with domino two for chuto which is actually really really good deal and basically we i thought golden circuit was amazing and we came back and then we basically just chilled for a little bit. We were supposed to do something, but we had to rebook it, which is a little bit annoying. Um, but we had to think about the Northern Lights. Yeah. yeah. But why have we got Domino's, babe? What's the, it's a special thing, isn't it, in Iceland? It, it's two for two, no, 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 it's three toppings for six pounds. So if you do come, make sure if on a Tuesday, if you wanna save money, you get six pounds, you get like a medium sized pizza with three toppings, which like, it's, it's pretty good because we wouldn't good. normally get to it. We'd always try it. We're going to be eating out in Icelandic places the rest of the week. But we were like, you know what? It's been one of those I'm long tired. travel days. We're tired. We want Domino's. And of course, below deck. So we are going to see you in the morning. So we are going horse riding in the Iceland horses. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> we're fully kissed out in our gear and it looks pretty awesome. And they are so cute. Hello. Made it. This is sugar, and this is the one that I got to ride we all round. We just given them some treats. Oh God, it's not mine, but it's also really, really, really cute. cute. 
Yeah. Your one? It's over here. Oh, what's your one called? Uh, mm, I said it in the floor. I did, I meant your one. But Sugar was nearly in Game of Thrones. He was special. Oh, he was nearly. Nearly, he didn't quite make it. So we are now back from horse riding and I cannot even recommend it enough. It, it was, was so amazing. good. It was amazing. So if you head over to our Instagram, we've got like an Iceland highlight and we've actually tagged the, the tour that we did. So if you are going to Iceland or it's something you want to check out, head over to our Instagram, Matthew Mine, and check it out as like highlight tab. It was incredible. Like, so we definitely wouldn't normally do, uh, but- I, I don't, we just thought, let's do something random and then we picked it that. It was amazing. Like, I've always wanted to do horse riding. I thought, why not do Icelandic horse riding oh, on so Icelandic Iceland, horses? You could tell the horses are so looked after. They were like loving life. And they're like, the girls that do the tour, you could tell they like love these horses so much. You, you get to feel them treat. And they only actually work six months. Of the year. And so then they get to chill and eat for six months. It's so good. But it was amazing. But now we're actually going to go and explore Vershevik in the daytime. Have a little mooch around the shops. And hopefully try some fur demented shark. Oh, I'm nervous. And we're going to get the best ice cream in town. I found the place yes. and we're going to go. But just to give you an idea of what it's like today. It is snowy and beautiful. And now that it's daytime. So we haven't been here in the daytime in the hotel room. We can really see all the beautiful houses. Huge. Imagine living in one of those. Their they're so, are really cozy. They're cute. gorgeous. So everyone Everyone kept DMing us saying we needed to try Iceland ice cream really? and even though it's freezing it's really good it's, it's really good. so good so I got some pistachio and rye bread because rye bread was apparently the most popular literally yes apparently rye bread I think rye bread was created in Iceland and it's actually really really nice ice cream and this place is called Valdi's and it is it, you really. basically can't miss it and it was so nice and now we're gonna sit and enjoy our ice cream but we really need to show you because apparently it's iconic so we're hoping you can hear us but basically we're in at the famous um, little section where they actually this was actually called Pride and they decided to keep this all year round. I just basically overheard someone say that, so I'm just repeating Repeat that. What they said. But we are full of ice cream. It's very chilly. It's and very cold. We're admiring the gorgeous bag. We're going to take some photos, aren't we? It's, yeah, we are. And also, so you've got the church. Check them out. Also, you've got the church just in the background over there. It looks really cute, actually, landscape like this. So it is getting a bit scary now, everyone. We are now trying Icelandic foods. We have the dried fish. With we butter. Have, we have like Vai, which I keep thinking like Vai Futas. I feel like it's similar. And this is, um, I don't know if it helps it. Ben it's a shot of something. It's like, it's similar to gin, uh, but they make it on the island. They make it with Icelandic products. And then we also have Fermented shark, shark. Which I'm really scared about. <laughs> but I can actually confirm a dried fish isn't too bad with the butter. It's but now we're gonna go on to the fermented shark. Oh what's it taste like? Really good. <laughs> Such a mess. It's so nice. Take a little bit of a shot with it. Take a sip. What's this? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we are back at the hotel and basically yesterday after exploring uh, Rushifik town we ended up going back to the Blue Lagoon in the evening and it was so nice it's such a different experience so if so you different. do have the opportunity I would recommend going to the Blue Lagoon twice once in the day and one at night time but if you can only go once I would definitely say go in the day if you are more interested in like photo opportunities and if you want to chill then I recommend going at night it was so nice because there was hardly anyone was like, there it was yeah. basically our private lagoon but, but there is not much lighting, that's why I yeah, say good Yeah, not much lighting. If you want to go in for photos. But this is the end of our part one and we are doing a part two because today is six in the morning right now we're filming this. We're heading to the south right now to go and check out the incredible scenery, the incredible sights. We have got so many things that we're going to see, it's going to be crazy. Like, it's going to be so, so, good. so good. So make sure you give this video a massive thumbs up. If you've been to Iceland or you've now I want to face Iceland, let us know in the comments down below and please make sure you just leave a comment, like this video. And hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next Icelandic video. Yes, and we'll see you in part two. Thank you for the support. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.